Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. In this episode, I'm going to carry on from the last one and be speaking about some amazing feats of memory, uh, as well as the World Memory Championships and some memory feats and world records that are held. Hi, I'm Lewis. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified of more great content coming up and maybe go back and check out this episode to um, bring yourself up to date in this series. When it comes to memory, there's many aspects and facets of it and I've decided, I think I'll start this episode rather than um, memorising random cards in order or random digits or pi and all these things, I was going to start with a more humanist bent to our um, memories and I'm going to start with this image here. It's the London Black Cab and do you know how it uh, relates to memory? Well, it's the knowledge. If you go to London, you'll often see um, men and women on scooters with maps, you know, uh, stuck to the front of their scooters and they're learning about uh, the roads and routes in London and it's called the knowledge and it's a fascinating uh, endeavour to become a hackney carriage driver and learn the knowledge and there's a, a little bit from the book it says if you visit London you'll occasionally cross paths with young men and women on motor scooters blindly darting in and out of traffic while studying maps affixed to their handlebars. These studious cyclists are training to become London cab drivers before they can receive accreditation from London's public carriage office Cabbies in training must spend two to four years memorising the locations and traffic patterns of all 25,000 streets in the vast and vastly confusing city as well as the locations of 1,400 landmarks. Their training culminates in an infamously daunting exam called the Knowledge in which they not only have to plot the shortest route between any two points in the metropolitan area, but also name important places of interest along the way. Only about three out of ten people who train for the knowledge obtain certification. So I thought I'd start with that. If you've ever been in a, a black cab or you've been in London and seen these people on their scooters learning, the knowledge is a really amazing feat of memory. And yeah, if you live in London, and I spent a lot of time in London, yeah, it's everywhere. These London cab drivers, they, they're obviously not the mental athletes and geeks that participate in the memory championships, but ultimately they've done the same thing. And secondly, in regards humanist memory, I'm going to move on to talk about religious scholars. There's um, a group of um, Muslim experts, if you like, in memory. They're called the Hafiz, and they've memorized the whole Quran and they know it all. Uh, part of the Muslim's prayer is you recite verses and chapters of the Quran, and there's certain people who've memorized the whole book. There's also certain Jewish um, Talmudic uh, scholars, they're called the Shas Polaks, who memorize the, uh, the Talmud as well. So there's these amazing religious people who decide that their holy book is so precious to them that they're going to go about learning the whole thing so that if, yeah, they don't need the book. If you locked them in a cell, they'd be perfectly happy and they'd have the whole Quran or Talmud. And yeah, I just find these um, feats amazing. But now I've dealt with, the more, dealt with the more humanist aspect of the memory, I'm going to get to the memory championships. So I'll just read from the book about the 2005 uh, USA Memory Championship, it says there were five events. First, the contestants had to learn by heart a 50-line unpublished poem called The Tapestry of Me. Then they were provided with 99 photographic headshots accompanied by first and last names and given 15 minutes to memorise as many of them as possible. So face uh, and first and last name and they have to try and recall as many as they can. Then they had another 15 minutes to memorise a list of 300 random words, five minutes to memorise a page of a thousand random digits, um, 
and another five minutes to learn the order of a shuffle deck of playing cards. Among the competitors were two of the world's 36 Grand Masters of Memory, a rank attained by memorising a sequence of a thousand random digits in under an hour, the precise order of ten shuffle decks of playing cards in the same amount of time, and the order of one shuffle deck in less than two minutes. But the staple of memory championships is you've got a certain period of time to memorise as much, whether it's random digits, playing cards, names and faces, you get an allotted amount of time to memorise as much as you can, and then the clock stops, they give you a few minutes, they call it, so that the memory can uh, start, you know, depleting, and then you have to recall it. So, I just find it so fascinating what some of these people can do. It's just practice, ultimately. Learn the techniques and practice. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in the next episode. And I might even take on a challenge myself or, or sh describe with you um, the uh, one of the real techniques that I think I could, I could probably do. But that's coming up in the next episode. And so, before I finish... Let me just share with you some of the current world records and I'll try and uh, yeah, elaborate on what they've done. Uh, the hour numbers discipline. They've got an hour to memorise as many random digits as they can and then recall them. The world record is 4,620 digits by Ryu Song and um, that was in the 2019 World Memory Championships. Um, the five minute numbers, so uh, a, a lesser um, discipline like that, that one was an hour, this is five minutes, 616 digits by Wu Kring Ru of China. Um, uh, the hour cards, which is you've got an hour to memorize as many uh, decks of playing cards as you can. Uh, this man, uh, Kim Su Rim, remembered 2,530 random playing cards. So, it, it just, yeah, you can't really imagine some of these amazing feats that they do. Uh, the world record for speed cards, the amount of time to memorise one deck of card, is 12.74 seconds. How do you memorise a whole deck of playing cards in that time? Yeah, I mean, beggar's belief, doesn't it? But yeah. 12 seconds to memorise a whole deck of playing cards. Crazy. Uh, the 15-minute random words is uh, the world record's 335 words. And that's Pratik Yadav, an Indian man. Um, this is interesting. The 15-minute names and faces, uh, the world record's held by Brit Katie Kamodi. So maybe tap her into Google or uh, Wikipedia and find out more about her, but th there's, a, there's a lot of information about the World Memory Championships and the United States Memory Championships. It's a fascinating field once you get into it, and in the next episode, I'm going to talk about a few of these um, techniques that they use. Uh, one will be chunking, where you chunk uh, large bits of information into one bit of information, and therefore you can remember more numbers. I'm going to talk about the memory palace and how ultimately that is the beginning of um, the memory, the mental athletes and the art of memory. And there's um, many other techniques that I'll touch on. And then I think from that will blossom out, I'm going to share with you a really specific way to do the memory palace to memorize a whole deck of playing cards. And maybe I'll give that a try for the channel. But I hope you enjoyed that episode and found it interesting as I did. Uh, if you did, hit that subscribe button and the bell uh, for the next, uh, I think there'll probably be three now because I really want to share with you how to do the Memory Palace to uh, memorise a deck of cards and maybe you'll let me know if you've been successful with that. Great to see you. I really hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you soon. Bye.